Across the world, people are now living longer lives. Yet longer lives comes with diseases that are associated with aging. So this session really is here to explore how in Asia, the health systems could potentially reform themselves or transform themselves to manage and enable a healthy aging or healthy uh, longevity. Moving from a break and fix healthcare system to actually predicting and preventing type of system. We've done a great job in a primary prevention of, of heart attack or cancers and treatments, but I think moving to that next stage, which is secondary prevention, chronic disease, and really the progression of these diseases, that's where bad things really start to impact people's ability to be productive. But how do we really accelerate that and institutionalize those um, before that you know proverbial tsunami really does come and, and, and reach our shores? A lot of health systems tend to be hospital-based and developing robust primary care structure can be very important and leveraging new technologies might enable us to reach out to areas that don't have a strong primary care. But there are many challenges to that as well, especially about this collaborative governance, public-private uh, working together to align incentives toward that healthy aging goal. We should just change the conversation about how we talk about aging. Instead of a silver tsunami, we should be talking about silver opportunities. It's not just about you know what you should eat, what you should do. All those things are important, but what's also important for you in, in pulling all those things together and having those conversations with seniors as well, and, and because they're actually part of the picture uh, to help them really age in place. I think it's good that the public became aware of the negative impact of lack of exercise. This might be a good starting point for us to develop this kind of communication with the public on a health issue. Healthcare is a long-term investment in society, and we need to be thinking about it in that way. It's a very good reminder about the importance of and value of science and innovation, and a reminder about the importance of keeping people healthy and productive. And I think COVID has just reminded us of, again, just the critical, critical importance of doing that.